What's happening? Millennials, blue collar men, what's good? I'm even catching you on the West Coast. Actually, it's about noon, I was gonna say. Even in the morning, we got you on the, on the East Coast. I'm out here on the West Coast, all right? So it's only, it's only uh, 8.56. But uh, anyway, I wanna give you guys some motivation for the morning to start your midvokin, your midweek day, Wednesday wisdom, and to finish the week out strong. You know, Thursday, Friday's coming up, Saturday. Obviously, 4th of July here in the U.S. <clears throat> is uh, in a week. So a lot of people will be celebrating it <clears throat> this weekend, uh, the weekend after, the middle of next week. So <clears throat> it's, <clears throat> whoa, excuse me. <clears throat> had some uh, difficulty there. It's really pertinent to get your work done now because you got a holiday coming up. We got, you know, the lazy time, summer, lazy, uh, summer lazies coming up. You know, people getting lazy, getting, uh, <clears throat> you know, procrastinating. So give me a second. Let me get a drink. So really, it's, it's a good time to get started now right that's the theme behind today's message is is not letting anything and really i'm going to talk today about age because i have a personal story <clears throat> that i want to share with you <clears throat> give me a moment while i can uh, pin this <clears throat> all right all right now we're set. Now we're talking. Now we're ready. All right. So, so I want to jump right into it. All right. Is is stop letting that number being your age prevent you from living your dreams, my friend. Stop letting that number hold you back. All right. This is a. This came to my mind right through my head yesterday, and it's a really, really um, a touchy topic. It's it's really relevant. I think it, it it hits home, it hits to the heart of probably most people. Uh, and I'm going to talk about millennial men and how this, how this affects us, right? Blue collar workers, you know, men, you know, starting out, you know, at that point where they're stepping into their leadership shoes, you know, they're, they're stepping up in their life, right? It's, it's not easy to, to grow up, right? You know, cliche, it's not easy to grow up. You know, there's no rite of passage for, for men in America, the United States of America. Like, you now are a man. You're officially, you know, a full-fledged, full-functioning adult male man. There, there's no ritual. So it's, it's tricky to kind of know, like, how do we transgress, or I mean not transgress, how, how, how do we transcend boyhead, bo boyhood into manhood how do we get to that that next step you know what's the <clears throat> what's the the process so i want to kind of talk on that today um let me share this around too so give me a minute I want more people to see this live, so I want to share this. All right, all right, because it's, it's best if you guys can catch this stuff when I'm live. All right. So let's get into it. So when I was 22, I'm 24 and a half now. So when I first got started in my business, right, trying to make my business successful, um, I had all of these preconceived ideas, these these notions of. This is how it's going to be. Like, I'm going to have to be making this much money. I'm going to be this successful by this age. Otherwise, like, the world's over. Like, that, it, it, I wasn't thinking that consciously, but unconsciously, I had all these ideas like 21, 22, 23, you know, where I was going to be living, how much money I was going to make, all this stuff. And you're going to come to realize really fast when you're going for your dreams that, your plans, your ideas of how things are going to turn out, most likely is not accurate. 
It's not how things are going to turn out. All right. What's up, Dakota? So usually things go differently than what you imagine them to be. So, you know, it can get very disappointing when things aren't going according to your, your dreams, right? Especially for years, right? I started my business at 19. That's when I first got started. So, you know, for a long time, at least to my life at that point, two or three years of kind of doing something, being plugged in, and not being anywhere close, remotely close to where I wanted to be, which is working full time, making this amount of money per month, you know, working towards six figures. It, it, it can be, uh, it can feel, it, it's very threatening to the ego. All right, so I had a va I had a fragile ego. I ha I had a a very um, I don't know how to how to word it. I ha I had a very fragile ego when I when I a few years ago when I was 21, 20, 22, and a lot of people do. A lot of men do. And and when I wasn't hitting my goals, I kind of I kind of took it personal and really felt way behind with where I was supposed to be in my mind, all right? So you might be in that situation. You might be 22. I mean, you might be 32. I, I usually work with men between like 20 and like 40, like 38, around that age group, millennials. Uh, you know, that's probably the age group, 22 to about 39 or something. So it, it can be challenging when you have kind of progress further into adulthood and you're past your, your, your mid-twenties and you're in your thirties now or you're 35 or you're 37 and like I was saying at the beginning, there's no such thing as this rite of passage for manhood. So it's kind of tricky to know like, you know, you know, am I living up to my own expectations? Am, am I doing all I'm meant to do? Like, like, you know, how am I going to stay motivated to keep going? Is this as good as it ever gets? Right? So you're going to have these, these limiting beliefs coming up if you haven't already faced them earlier in your life. All right, So I want to remind you that, look, your age really doesn't matter. Like when I was 22 and, and nowhere close to six figures, which, look, a lot of these goals and stuff that you come up with, they're, they're not going to even be what you want later on. They're not going to be as important to you at the moment because a lot of what you are aiming for, my friend, is based on your ego beliefs, your ego desires. It's, I, I want to look good to other people. This is how I want to appear publicly to my friends, to my coworkers, etc. Right? But in reality, in reality, you, you got to get connected to, <clears throat> excuse me, a higher purpose, a purpose that is beyond the material world. Like I'm always talking about. Obviously, wealth is great <clears throat> having money is essential but you might not need to get to six or seven figures for your happiness you know that's just the reality you, you probably don't you're probably gonna be okay if you don't progress as fast as you think you have to in your head right so I'm not saying like I'm not saying don't set big goals do that set big goals but have the right mindset about it all right so if you set a goal to make a million dollars give yourself much more time. Give yourself, you know, more time if you're trying to make a certain amount of money, right? Because anything you're you're bringing into the material world, it's going to take time to manifest. You're going to have to sacrifice your life for it, your time for it. So you got to get clear on what's most important to you. Maybe you want to manifest something else, a relationship, a healthy family, you know, just a stable business that pays you more than your job. But you enjoy the work. You love the work. It's a, it's very impactful, right? It's very fulfilling. You know, to me, all that stuff is more important, right? I, I'd rather be making, you know, 5K a month or 4K doing what I love, having freedom and making my work impactful as much as possible rather than just making 15K a month or 12K a month, you know, doing something, just selling stuff. I know tons of people sell stuff. They do, they do uh, Shopify and all that, and that's great. You can make money anyway. But I'm about this long-term game. I'm about when I'm 80 years old, doing what I've done now. I'm gonna look back on and be proud. 
right, for the rest of my life. I'm going to say, man, I wasn't actually just about making a quick buck and, and just trying to do it full time. Like I was really about helping people. And because of that, so many other people are now better off because I went out and shared my knowledge with them. That's what I'm about, right? So you got to get clear on what you're really about. And that will help you not let your age, which is just a number, stop you, right? It's, just, it's really just a number. If you take away the age we all have, what's left is it's just us. You know, it's our soul. It's our body, right? So don't let the fact that you might not be where you want to be yet at 25 or 40 stop you from, from getting started today. Learning what it takes to hit your goals you can do it at any age possible. It does not matter. All right? You know, if you're 40, you might think, well, that's going to take forever to get to this amount of money. And it's funny. I've heard it on so many personal development audios. They say, well, in, in five years, how old are you going to be anyway? You know, you're going to be five years older in five years no matter what you're doing. So you might as well be doing what you want to do. Right? That's my point. That's my message today. You know, I, I was all caught up in... I got to do this to look good. I got to make this amount of money. And in reality, I didn't need to make six figures at 22. I just need to make a couple grand a month. I just need to be full time. I just need to be connected to something with more purpose and meaning behind just a dollar sign. That's not going to make you happy. Having a bunch of digits in your bank is not going to make you happy. Right? It's not the fulfillment. Now, it's, it's, it, you got it for bills. But at the end of the day, you, you got to have the right purpose attached to the money you're making, all right? Otherwise, it's all kind of use, useless, you know? It's kind of meaningless, right? You want to be living at your highest potential, your, your greatest standard that you can set for yourself. It's just going to make everything click and go so much smoother. So that's what I wanted to bring up today is my own personal, my own story is I had issues with that. Like when I said 21, 22, and then I kind of got over it when I was 23. It kind of grew up a bit. I kind of became a man for real. And, and you don't have to wait for anyone to tell you, you know, you're a man. Like, it, it's, it's your decision, right? Like, you just, you just step into it. You just own it. All right? So don't let your age prevent you from, from going for your dreams, right? Don't let it hold you down. You know, do the best with, with where you're at right now, right? Make peace with yourself, right? That's what I'm trying to say. I made peace with myself. Thanks for the heart, sweetheart, Rebecca. Yeah, so I, I, made, I, I made peace with myself. And then from there, I, I actually have created way more success than I ever have in the past. All right, so that's my message. Um... Thanks for whoever's joined. Thanks for all the hearts, Rebecca. Um, I just thought this is an important message. Whoever finds it, if it really speaks to you, I hope it helps. You know, if it helps you, share it maybe because I know there's a lot of people that get caught up in this facade, right? The age and you got this, you got to have this much money and this and that. And it's like, dude, it doesn't matter if you're broke, living with your parents' basement. And you're 35. Like, I know people get, that's like the cliche, you know, making fun of the dude. But, I mean, there's so many success stories where people have actually lived in their parents' house, you know, to save money, you know, to work on their dreams. And it paid off. So, you know, what do you got to lose? You know, that's what I'm saying is what do you really got to lose to go for it, you know, when you're, when you're a certain age? You don't have anything to lose. You know, so you might as well drop that excuse right now. Your age, your age doesn't have to stop you from living your dreams. The only thing that is, is going to stop you is you. That's, that's it. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, click the link if you want help on, on making money online to potentially full-time income. It's a system that I've used. Tens of, other, tens of thousands of others have used it. It can help you too. All right, see you next time. As always, stay motivated.